Well, hello, CNCer. I am Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I'd like to welcome you to this video where I'm going to teach you one little tool in the Vectric software that a lot of people don't use, I don't think, but will make your life a lot easier in some cases. It's called the Scale Tool, where you can take an object or several objects and scale them down to the size of your project material without having to select everything and click the buttons and try to shrink it down to just right. You can get it to the exact size of your material. I'm going to show you here. This comes from a viewer on the channel. His name is Wayne. And he is making a sonogram project etched on glass or acrylic based on a video I did a while ago. And he sent me an email. He said, I'm having trouble getting this to the right size. Can you show me? So it's a good thing that he asked. So I get to show you too. So let's dive into Vectric and I'll show you how to work the scaling tool. Let's go. All right, we are in Vectric. And I just want to remind you, this is the same button in the Aspire version, the desktop version, and the Pro version of the Vectric software. So this is the project that Wayne was working on. He said he was having trouble getting it down to the size that he wants. Currently, he has put this on a 24 by 24 inch project, but he wants to get it down to a 10 wide by 8 tall in inches. And he was struggling to get it to size properly. So one of the first things that I think he was struggling with is when he selected everything and you click it again and you have your little buttons around there and I think he was zoomed in too close to be able to see the upper button up here. So one of the first things we want to do is just get rid of the excess stuff. Uh, first thing you want to do is get all your layers turned on so you're shrinking every, everything with it. So right now I have all the layers turned on. And then we're going to get rid of the excess stuff. Now this is construction line that he has created. So we're going to get our scissors. We're going to select that and we're just going to come in and cut out that extra stuff. So it's gone now. So now we have our project. Now we have to get it to the size, the material to the right size. And then we'll get the project size down. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about the scaling tool and the other features in it. It's actually pretty simple and I'll show you in other ways that you can use it as well. So first of all this is 24 by 24 and he wants it eight, 10 by 8. So we're going to go up and set our job size then we're going to set our width at 10 inches and our height at 8 inches and we'll hit enter. And so now the job is gone. We have a little line right up there we have to get rid of. So we're going to just dump that, okay? The material job is gone. It's actually much smaller than the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the project and move it out of the way so you get an idea of how much we have to scale this. So this whole thing needs to be inside of this area. So the first thing we want to do is get it centered on our project. You should take this step no matter what. If you've already got it centered, just do it anyway. Under Transform Objects, in this area here, you want to select the Align Selected Objects button. Make sure you have everything selected. And then hit the upper center button right here to get everything aligned to the center of the project. And we'll close that. So now we're ready just to downsize this. So this is where it gets kind of cool. I've never taught this little tool before. So under Transform Objects, the second icon in says Set Selected Object Size. What that's going to enable you to do is scale it down to the size that you need. So the first thing you see is there are two radio buttons up here. And a radio button is a button where you can only have one selected. It's like a radio station. You can only be tuned into one radio station. So that's why they call these radio buttons. Now one of these is grayed out. The first one says job aligned box and the second one says rotated bounds. And that is grayed out. Uh, if you know what rotated bounds is, please put that down in the comments because I don't know what that is. All right, the next thing is the rectangle. Now, if you've made rectangles and you've followed any of my videos that talks about it, you know that when you are selected in the center of the rectangle, it's going to do the work based on the center of the rectangle. So the rectangle is essentially the four points that are created on the outside of the, of the project. 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to scaling this down based on the center of the project. So it's going to scale into the center here. Now what we want to do is adjust the scale for the height and the width at the same time. And the way that we do that is to have this little checkbox checked. This is linking the X and Y scaling. So when you check that and you adjust the width or the X scale, then the Y scale will adjust accordingly. So I'll show you what I mean. We're just going to put in that box 10, which is the width of his material. And we're going to say apply. And now the project has been scaled down to the width of the material. Now because his engraving is going to be way out at the end, we probably want to bring that down a little bit more, so we'd say 9.5 and apply. And that way his scaling is down inside of the project area. So what I'm going to do is control Z and control Z so that it's now back to what it was. And what we're going to do is unlink this X and Y. And I'll show you what will happen. So right now this is 24 inches wide by some ratio tall. And we're just going to change the width down to 10 from 24. And we're going to apply without the link of X and Y. And you're going to see it's going to get smushed down. So it's brought the X side to side down to 10 while it maintained the existing height <coughs> of the project. So we're going to control Z that. Another thing you can do is you can just adjust the percentage. That's what the next box is. If you want it to be 50% of the project size, you just type in 50. And I'm going to relink these. So link them and I'm going to type in 50 because right now it's at 100%. And we're going to apply. And so 50 wasn't enough. We'll take it down another 50 and there we go. Every time you adjust that, this number pops back to 100%. So if you do 50% again, it's going to do 50% of that. So control Z, control Z twice. Bring it back to its original size. Now there's another checkbox down at the bottom. It says auto scale Z and it's grayed out as well. Now I suspect that has to do with 3D models. If if you know, will you please make a comment down below and let me know. Okay, so now you got that. So we're just going to adjust this down to 9.5. And now his project is inside the window. And he's ready to do whatever he needs to do on the material that he has. Okay, so let's take this into a couple of other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this out of the way. And we're going to come in and we're going to put some text in here. This is where you might apply it some more. And so the text is right up here. And we're going to just increase the size of the text. We're going to make it five inches tall. And we're going to type in CNC is awesome. So we have words that are way too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to close that. And instead of clicking the words and trying to grab the corner here to shrink it down or hold the shift button so we can get it shrunk. What we're going to do is we're going to first center our word and we're just going to center it on the center of the job. So we're going to select transform objects, align selected objects and we're just going to move it to the center and now we want to set the height or the width. And we know our width is 10 inches and all we have to do is while the CNC is awesome is selected we are going to go into the scale tool Transform Objects, Set Selected Object Size, click that. With the XY linking turned on, we're just going to put in, we want it 10 inches wide, and apply. And now it is scaled to the material size. Much easier, much faster. So I'm going to Control Z that, and I'm going to show you something else. Now this rectangle, the radio button is in the middle, so it's shrinking it down to the middle. If we had selected like the lower left corner, what it's going to do is pin the item to this corner and shrink it from the upper opposite corner or the diagonal corner. So now I'm going to have that lower button selected and I'm going to type in 10 again and apply. And now it's shrunk it down that way. So you can use this in many different ways. Control Z. 
and I'm going to reselect the center. We're going to type in 10 and apply. We'll type in 9.5 so it fits inside of it, right? And apply. And now we're inside of our project. And that's how the scaling tool works. Again, it's in transform objects. It's the second icon in. It says set selected object size. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. I'd love to hear your input and maybe some thoughts on other ways to do this. So this is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I hope you have a great day, better tomorrow, and happy CNCing.